I'm Dr. Sujal Mandavia, Chief Medical Officer at Carbon Health. Let's talk about how vaccines and testing will interplay. Specifically, what do you need to know about testing before, during, or after vaccination? Let's start with before. Do I need a COVID test before I get a vaccine? Well, the answer to that is no. What if you have had a COVID test for some reason, uh, whether it's through exposure or symptoms and you find out that you're COVID positive, does that mean that you will not be vaccinated? Not really. If you have completed your isolation based on a healthcare provider clearing you, whether you were symptomatic or asymptomatic, then you can go ahead and proceed and get your vaccination. Now let's talk about what happens during vaccination. What if I've received my first dose? Do I still need to get tested if I develop symptoms before I get my second dose? Simple answer is yes. The first dose of the vaccine gives some immunity, but we already know it is not as effective, which is why we have the second booster. It may be 50% effective, but certainly not enough to give us confidence that if you have symptoms that you should not get tested for COVID-19. Now let's talk about after vaccination. Do I still need to get tested even if I've completed my two doses of the vaccine? Simple answer is yes. Now here's why. What we know about the vaccine is that it's very effective, 95% effective for the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines in preventing serious symptoms or hospitalization or death. What we don't know yet is whether it actually prevents infection and therefore transmission. So there is a possibility that you can still get exposed to COVID-19, still be infected, but really have almost no symptoms and not be aware that you're infected and therefore still pose a transmission risk to those around you. That's why it's so important we still take care of the basics, do our social distancing, our masking, and that's why testing isn't really going to go away anytime soon until we get more clarity about that transmission question. So one question I'm getting pretty frequently from my patients, can I get COVID from the vaccine? Simple answer is no, and here's why. The COVID vaccine is not actually producing the actual virus and is also not the virus itself. What it's doing is only producing small fragments of the protein that are contained by the virus so that your immune system can recognize it, respond to it, build immunity against it. So that gives you the protection you need if you ever get exposed to the actual virus. One frequently asked question is, will the COVID vaccine affect my test results? This is an easy one. The answer is no. And here's why. The COVID vaccine is producing fragments or proteins from the virus, but it's not actually producing the virus and also doesn't produce anything that you would actually shed outside of your body, like through your nose, through sneezing or coughing. And those are the methods by which we're collecting samples and testing for the virus itself. So there's really no opportunity for a cross reaction between a protein that's produced by the virus and a test trying to detect even that protein. Let's talk about testing in a post-vaccination world. Does this mean that testing is obsolete? I don't think it is. In fact, in the medium term, I believe there may be increased demand for testing because as we've mentioned before, what we don't know yet is whether there is certainty around the risk of transmission in somebody who has already been immunized. As an example, I might get exposed to the virus, I might get infected, but because I've been immunized, I won't really develop a lot of symptoms, but could I still be a risk of transmitting to others? That's the real question we have. Until that question gets answered, we're gonna have to be even more vigilant in making sure we're not unknowingly transmitting infections. And in order to do that, we're gonna to need to detect those infections in the first place. So my prediction is that as people want to take more social freedoms, because the population is getting more and more immunized, we're gonna to have to actually double down on our vigilance and surveillance to understand if infections are present in social gatherings or other situations that might otherwise cause a spreader event.